Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students I had uploaded a video where I was trying I was trying to help you to find squares of numbers which were mostly two digit and most of you all commented about what happens when the numbers are large. So I'm going to make this video specifically for large numbers as you all can see. But before beginning with this, let's quickly revise the method used to find a small digit square. Let's say if we had to find 26 square. Okay. Because the method which I'm going to use over here is also going to correlate with this one. So this is very important. Now, can I write this as nothing but 20 plus 6 the whole square? Right. And now for your answer, what we will do is... We will write square of 6 which is what 36. Okay. Then we will write square of 2. Please understand here because it is a 2 digit number we are going to not consider this 0. 1 0 will not be considered. Okay. So here square of 2 is 4. And then what you do is you are going to add 2 sorry you are going to multiply 2 into 6 into 2 that is going to get you 24. Okay, but while writing, like I said, this 0, this 1 0 we are not considering. So in all your answers, these are 3 parts of your answers, right? All these 3 parts will only be considered with the 1 digit. Means only the unit digit of all of these 3 will be considered. Okay, so your final answer will have 6 over here. So what happens to this 3, it gets added to 24. So 24 plus 3 gets you 27 and this 2 gets added over here so 2 plus 4 gets you 6 and that is how you are going to get your answer okay so now let's start with this one this can be written as 107 the whole square can be written as 100 plus 7 the whole square okay so writing down we will write down your square of 7 which is 49 then square of 1 please understand we do not consider the zeros okay so only 1 and what you do is you multiply 7 into 1 which is 7 into 2 which is going to get you 14. Okay. And because there are 2 digits sorry 2 zeros in your question. So your answers will be taken in the form of 2 digits. Okay. So basically 49 and 1 4 will be written as it is. We will not put a carry like we did for this one. I hope you all are getting it. So your final answer for this one is 1 4 1 1 4 9. I hope you got what I am trying to do. Okay. Let's quickly do for, uh, let me do for a simpler one. So now again square, so this is what 300 plus 3, the whole square. So first we write down square of 3 which is 9, then square of again 3 which is 9. But like I said, because there are two zeros, we are going to write down all the answers in two digits. So, we will write this as 0, 9. Okay. And then we multiply 3 into 3 into 2, which is 18. So, again, 18 is a two digit answer. So, we do not have to put a 0 or anything. So, your final answer is 9, 1, 8, 0, 9. If you are having any doubts, you can put, you can check your calci and check in your calci as well. Okay, now you might be wondering why didn't I put this as 0, 9. I can very well write this as 0, 9, but it doesn't make any sense. Eventually, the answer will be this only, right? Because any number which starts with 0 and then there is a number that 0 is not to be considered. I hope you all are getting it. Students, if you are liking the way I am explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, don't forget at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a DIY whose answers you can mention in the comment section below. Okay. So, let's very quickly do for this one. So, again, this is 100 plus 35. Sorry. 35, the whole square. So, we'll write square of 1 which is 1. Again, I can write this as 0 1 but I'm writing it as 1 because this is the last digit of my answer. Okay. Then, the last square of 35 please understand any number ending in 5 the answer is always what 25 and sorry the, la the last part of your answer is 25 and the first part will be 3 multiplied by the number coming next to it which is 4 3 into 4 is 1 2 2 5 so here your answer is 1 2 2 5 
and 35 into 1 is 35 into 2 is 70 so these are three parts of your answer so for your final answer what you will do is you will write 25 as it is and this 12 will be added to 70 so 70 plus 12 gets you 82 and 1 will be written as it is i hope you all are getting it okay see i have taken both the examples one with a carry and one which has a square but it has a single digit square so we'll write it in terms of two digits okay so now let's look for this one this will be what let's not write this as 200 plus 9 and all that we'll just write it directly so square of 9 is what 81 then uh, multi, uh, square of four, 2 is 4 the 9 into 2 is 18 18 into 2 is 36 so your answer is 4 6 4 3 6 8 1 see now you saw you can literally do this in your mind as well i really hope you all are getting this particular trick <coughs> okay so now for this one let's write this so square of 4 is 16 square of 75 let's write it over here see i can write it orally also but for you all to understand or for you all to get the hang of it i'm doing it over here so 7 into 8 is what 56 and then square of 5 which is 25 right so we have 5 6 2 5 this is the second part third part of your answer and then 75 into 4 it gets gets you how much it gets you 300 300 into 2 gets you 600 okay so this is your middle part so your final answer will be having 2 5 this 56 added to 600 gets you 656 so again from 656 we'll just take the last two digits so 56 will be taken over here so this 6 will get added to your 16 so your answer will be now become 16 plus 6 that gets you 22 right so now for this one again square of 5 is what 25 square of 11 is 121 and multiplying 5 into 11 that gets you uh, 55 into 2 gets you 110 okay so your answer now becomes see from the this one we'll just take 21 this one gets added over here so 110 plus 1 gets you 111 so 11 will be taken this from here and 1 will get added over here so your 26 so answer for this one is 26 double 1 2 1 okay so I hope you all are getting this particular trick. In case you have any other queries, then please let me know so in the comment section. So now time for your DIY. You will have to let me know what is the square of 212. Please use the trick mentioned in the video and let me know so your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.